there are a lot of stories about Jim, Jimmy Hoffa, you know, over the past three. When I was when I first assigned to the U.S. Attorney's Office in 1983, uh, the trend of thought back then was that a guy named Mad Dog Sullivan, who was an associated of uh, the Genevieve's crime family, and another guy, a union guy by the name of John uh, Sullivan, killed Jimmy Hoffa and buried him under the property where they put the giant stadium. And then, for some reason, moved the body someplace else that nobody knew. That was the first story I heard. Then a few years ago, there was the story, The Irishman, which was a net Netflix flick. I watched it. I didn't like it. And then most recently, a uh, Fox TV series. They did, a, they did a Fox TV series on what happened to Jimmy Hoffa. And uh, the, last, the last one I saw said... Yeah, he, he was in. They they buried him in a a junkyard in New Jersey. I mean, those were three of the stories that were going around. Now I'll give you the right account, based on somebody that knew, that I know, and it makes sense. So I mean, all these perpetrators are dead that I'm going to be talking about, including Hoffa. Where could I start? Now Hoffa had a big mouth that he was always complaining about. The, the wise guys muscling in on his union, the Genovese crime family, and Bovenzano took took offense to that. They had a fist fight. They actually had a fist fight over it. He went to uh, Fat Tony Salerno, who was the boss of the Genovese crime family in New York, and said he wanted permission to kill, kill Hoffa. And the commission authorized it because he was bad mouthed in the Genovese crime family, I guess, and it was going to hurt their union influence. Salerno gives a contract to the Buffalino crime family. Buffalino gives the contract to a guy named Red Hot, who nobody knew anything about. We found out in 2020 his name, they, we think his name was Enrico Galanti. He, he passed away already. There's a meeting. Hoffa has to go to a meeting at a, a Red Fox restaurant in Detroit. And his driver... Uh, Chucky O'Brien and another guy named Picardo drive him to this meeting. After the meeting's over, he has to go to another meeting in a private house uh, someplace in Detroit. When he opens the door and walks in, Red Hot's there with a shotgun, puts the gun to his head and blows his head off. Two guys from New York, uh, Genevieve's crime family, uh, Julio and Muscati take the body, bring it to a local crem a crematory. The body gets cremated. They take, they take the remains and they go to Lake St. Clair and throw the ashes in the water. And that's what happens. It's a perfect crime. No body. All the perpetrators are dead. And nobody ever got prosecuted. 